guys, this is Andreas from Graphic Bible. On today's video, I'm going to show you how we can create this amazing effect. Uh, so we're going to use the blend tool and it's pretty easy, it's pretty fast. So I think you're going to enjoy it. So let's get it started. So I'm going to go to File, New, Control N, and name your project. Just going to put it within a stroke for now. And I'm going to do it on 1080 by 1080 pixels, so it will be for Instagram. And click OK. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is the path. So if you press B on your keyboard or you go to the, your left panel, the, and we're going to grab the paintbrush tool. We're just going to draw a random path. It doesn't have to be perfect, so we're going to create another one. This is just as a reference. And we're going to reduce the opacity, so you go to the transparency panel here. Or if you don't have it on, you can find it here on window, transparency. And let's reduce the opacity like maybe 30%. Yeah, that's good. So press Ctrl 2 or Command 2 on Mac. So it will lock the layer, so you kind of drag it and move it. And let's use the, the curvature tool to create a nice path. I just want to change the color in order to see it better. So this will help, help us to make a nice path, like a nice curve. Okay guys, so I'm going to increase the stroke weight, so you guys can see it better. And we don't need now this other path that we draw first, so I'm just going to delete it. As you can see, it's a nicer path. Um, the next step is create just circles. So the, the size of the circle will determine the stroke weight. So in this case, I'm just going to make it kind of small. And I'm going to select nice colors. Let me make it a little bit smaller, like this. And I'm going to duplicate holding down Shift and Alt. So I just, I think I'm going to use six colors for now. But you can use as many as you want. Just get created. Okay, so the next step, I'm going to select all of them and make sure the align selection is selected or is clicked. And you're gonna go to vertical distribute center. So it will align everything with the same amount of space. And we're gonna just choose some nice colors. So maybe this. Maybe I'm gonna change this one and then make a lighter blue, blue. Okay, so we have all, all the colors that we want to use, and you're gonna go to where is the blend tool on your left panel and just press W, and you're just gonna start clicking the first one and then the second and just click the rest so it will create this nice gradient and as you can see if you move the shape so it, it create this path so select this shape that we just create the gradient and then the path holding down shift so it will select both of, both of them and then go to object blend replace spine so as you can see, it creates this this stroke with the the path that we have before. So we can tweak it a little bit if you want. So we just go to plane and if you click and reverse the spine, so it would change the colors. Like it would make the opposite. Or even if we want to change the like. 
this one goes to the front or this one go to the front so you can just click and press blend reverse front to back so it will be the opposite way so it's really up to you and yeah guys it's pretty nice it's pretty trendy you can create a lot of interesting shapes with this or make the size bigger if you want like you see And that's it guys for today's video, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel, I will also leave my social media down below and see you guys in the next one, bye bye.